Have a child or grandchild you're trying to get into reading and nothing seems to work? A new super cute study might have just the answer. Add a dog to the room. Researchers from the University of British Columbia studied the reading patterns of 17 children, first through third grades without a dog present, then with a dog nearby. After both scenarios, the kids were asked if they wanted to continue reading after finishing the first page of their story. Guess what? The kids who spent time with the dog significantly more desire to read. And it's kind of a cool thing because when I think about this, it didn't matter what age the dog was, what breed they were. When I read this story, and, and not, not to get sentimental here, but I, got, I adopted my dog Nala my first year of med school. And I'm gonna tell you, I barely knew the library because I always had her by my side when I was studying. And I would have, whether it be on the porch, in the apartment, out at a coffee shop. That dog was by my side. <laughs> and I didn't, I, I didn't feel- through med school. Right, because in some way, she, there's just something about sitting there and maybe you, you're engrossed in a book for an hour, but then you, know, you reach over and you pet your dog. And for kids especially, mm -hmm. just that companionship while you're reading, it makes everything better. I love this. Just, well, I think anything that encourages kids to learn, yep. read more, I think it's great. Maybe we'll see more therapy dogs, quote, in, in libraries, in schools, I, and public libraries. And I think that would be so cute in a kid's elementary school library if you had a few library dogs, and they, during the day they just hung out and sat at kids' feet while they read, and then they could fart together. <laughs> and... That would be awesome.